You're watching CNN. I'm Brooke Baldwin. Right now in South Carolina, lawyers for Michael Slager, former North Charleston police officer, they're in court uh, arguing to get him out of jail. Slager is charged with murder for shooting and killing Walter Scott. This is uh, last April after a traffic stop for a broken brake light. All of it caught on video by a witness. So let's discuss this uh, bail hearing, bond hearing. CNN legal analyst and former prosecutor Sonny Hawson and defense attorney Bob Schalk. So um, thank you both for being here. We're waiting for word, obviously, from South South Carolina, but uh, you know, Walter Scott's family. Obviously, they want him to stay behind bars. Uh, the the Slager attorneys, they, he's been in uh, solitary confinement. Um, with the court documents, let's begin there. Uh, you know, toxicology reports from the defense attorneys talking about cocaine, alcohol. Walter Scott's family says this is character assassination, and it is. And I think we we are seeing a little too much of that uh, in our court systems. It's sort of the, the blame the victim tactic, and that just doesn't work anymore. Especially, I think, with the media scrutiny. But let's be clear about bail. I mean, bail is not supposed to be punitive, right? right? It's supposed to be whether or not any conditions can be put together to ensure sure that this defendant returns for trial. And I do think that, well, I know that uh, jail for former officers, current officers, is probably the worst place to be. And so you do have to keep them in solitary confinement, which is very expensive, actually, for our system. And, and so if there is sort of, a, if there are a set of conditions that can ensure that he returns this and ensure his, his safety, you know, I, I think that that would make sense, but the character assassination that we are seeing of this victim is just really despicable, and it needs to stop. You agree? With Absolutely. I mean, to that, to the first point of he's a total liability for the jail while he's there. If they allow anyone near him and he's assaulted or he's injured in any way, then you're talking about lawsuits. They don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. But as Sonny said, the purpose of the of, of bail is to ensure someone comes back. There are so many things that they can do. Take his passport, make him post a large bond, put an electronic monitoring device on him. Give him a curfew if you even let him out of his home. Mm -hmm. There are so many things they can do. And apparently the lawyers have come up with cases out of the same courthouse where defendants similarly charged as him with no criminal record have been granted bail. So you, you cannot punish him merely because he's a cop and there's a lot of, okay. you, you know, there's a lot of media surrounding this. You have to do what's right and what's normally done in that courthouse. Let me show some video. This is, um, this is a video CNN has. This is FBI uh, showing enhanced images. This is before the shooting. Appears to show Slager and Walter Scott tussling on the ground. Slager's attorney spoke with uh, Don Lemon last night about this video. I think what it does, it adds corroboration to Michael Slager's story. Michael Slager has always said from the beginning, this is what's happened. And unfortunately, all we've been able to see is the, and I don't want to say the second part of the video, but we've only been able to see one clip of the video and no one's ever seen the beginning. And so the question again has to go through the state law enforcement division. Why wasn't all of the information given? Rather than just a clip to try to, basically to try to, scare people is the easiest way to describe it to scare people as to what happened rather than telling the full account of what happened that day do you have a point no <laughs> i gotta tell you I, I think it's ludicrous what we have all seen is the shooting of an unarmed man in the back as he is running away by any standard and i've spoken to many officers about this particular shooting mm -hmm. and in my law enforcement experience by any standard that um, is illegal and, and that's why he's been charged with the crime the fact that perhaps there is some video uh, earlier that may add a little something to the story I mean that his story is that this man uh, Walter Scott tried to grab his taser, taser a couple of times yeah okay but that does not change the fact that in my view and the view of, of the police chief and the view of the grand jury and the view of the prosecutors that are trying this case yeah. it is clear that he shot Walter Scott in the back as he was fleeing. I don't understand how he was in danger for his life uh, in, in, in that moment. And that is the crucial moment, not what happened. Okay, 20 seconds. I agree with that, but I do think... You agree? I, I agree with it to a certain extent. <laughs> they have, the prosecution is required by the Supreme Court, Brady versus Maryland, to turn over exculpatory or beneficial information to the defense. If they were withholding portions of the video that show a, a, a scuffle on the ground, that, that goes to the self-defense claim. They were entitled to it. It should be there. They should have had it from the beginning yeah. so they can bring it to the judge. All right. Uh, Abhishek, Sonny Hostin, thank you both very yeah. much. Thanks, uh, coming up next, fresh off winning his deflate gate battle against the NFL, Patriots QB Tom Brady takes the field tonight against the Pittsburgh Steelers. But one of the people at the center of the scandal will be missing from the crowd. You're watching CNN.